What a difference a few months make. Uh, the U.S. president back in April when they stopped these coronavirus briefings was talking about the virus just uh, going away. Now, despite the positive spin that he put on this first coronavirus briefing for months with tens of thousands more dead and millions of more cases, he did say that this pandemic could get worse well, thank you very before much. it gets better. Some areas of our country are doing very well. Others are doing less well. It will probably, unfortunately, get worse before it gets better. Something I don't like saying about things, but that's the way it is. It's the way, it's what we have. You look over the world, it's all over the world. And it tends to do that. The governors are working very, very hard. And we are supporting them 100 percent. Everything they need, they get. And for the first time in front of the cameras, the U.S. president urging the American public to wear masks for young people not to go to uh, packed bars. He even suggested that social distancing, the distance, could even be uh, increased. And he talked about Florida's problems openly, as the state has 10,000 cases or slightly less uh, nearly every day. But he talked in glowing terms about the leadership of those states. They happen to be Republican in stark contrast to how he criticized Democratic governors. He said that no governor uh, needs anything from the federal government that they haven't asked for. That is uh, questionable. Uh, but it's obvious that the U.S. president uh, uh, knows that this virus is getting worse, not better, and will probably be here uh, when he's up for re-election in just over 100 days or so. So it's a race against time for this White House. It's a race against time to get a vaccine. It's also a tune-changing for a U.S. president. Nathan King, CGTN at the White House.